to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. We'll see what they have up their sleeve. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 21. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really set it. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Well, we'll see if they can do it here. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. To throw on second down is gone. Flushed out right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Woods, the intended receiver. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. The 30. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Toss right, Freeman. And some room to run now. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now Ryan on first down. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 20. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. So from one end zone all the way to the other. Talk about a turnaround. And how about the excitement that that play generates for his team? Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that.